welcome back to another B project tutorial. Today we have this email that Pete's Coffee recently sent its subscribers and we are going to be recreating this in the B editor. We also have a pretty exciting new feature called Save Rows that we are going to showcase as well. So we'll let you get a look at this email and then we are going to go ahead and hop over into our B Pro editor and start recreating it. So the first thing we are going to do, um, we are creating our own email template here. So we are going to use this blank template just so we can build our own email from the ground up. So the first thing we'll need to do once this loads is to set up our email structure. So we are going to go ahead and find our empty rows over here and drag a few of these over. We have a couple of images at the top that we need rows for, and then we have several different fonts, different font sizes. So we are going to get separate rows for all of our text. And now we are ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is drag over an image to this first row, and we're going to use our header, which is already uploaded right here. So all we have to do is insert this. Um, we're going to make it a little bit smaller just by adjusting over here and before we go any further we are going to go ahead and save this row which is B's latest feature um, if you click on a section you will see these three buttons click the save button all the way to the left and then you can insert a name for your row and save it so the next time you go into B to create an email, um, you will be able to look under my saved rows and find your header, your footer, whatever it is that you saved last time. Um, and that can just save you time in the future and help you make sure to stay on brand every time. So we are ready to go ahead and continue with our email. So the next thing we need to do is drop in our main image of this coffee roast. And now we're ready to start with our text. So the first text block is very simple. It just says, last chance. We're going to put this in the center, make it a little bit smaller. And then over on the right here, we are going to change the color. Then we have another text block to add right here. And this one says, holiday blend sneak peek. So again, we can edit our text by putting it in the center. We're going to change the size, change the font, change the color, and we're good to go. Now we are ready to put in our main body text here. We're just gonna copy and paste this. And so, again, we are going to put this in the center, make it a little bigger, change the font and color, and we're good to go. So the next step here is to put in our CTA button. We'll just drag that over. So we're going to edit the button text by typing directly onto it. We're gonna say shop now, and then we again can edit the text just as if it were a traditional text box. Over here, you can put in the link that you want the button to link to. We're gonna change the background color to this nice holiday golden brown. And then finally, we have one last text box to drop in down here that is just going to say order by 910 to enjoy this one time roast. And we will just put that in the center, make sure it's black, and we are good to go. So we are essentially done with this email. We just need to hop over into the preview screen to make sure it looks good. We can check out how it looks on a desktop computer or how it looks on mobile. And I think we are ready to go. So since we are creating our own email template, we can save this in the template library as a new template. So you will just click save, add a name for the template, 
and then you are ready to go. And the next time you come into the B editor, you can find this in your template library. And that is how you create your own email template with B.